starring Robert Alder. Mission Chopin. Secret File USA, a warning to all enemies of America, at home and abroad, for planning acts of aggression. This is the story of the gallant men and women who penetrated and are still penetrating enemy lines to get secret information necessary for the defense of the United States. This is the story of one of our nation's mightiest weapons, past, present, and future if necessary. The American Intelligence Services. to a lovely girl playing a lovely Chopin waltz. But I was on serious business. My name is Morgan, American Intelligence. Hello, monsieur. What do you think of Hélène? What's the verdict, Bill? Miss Van Loon is a very talented artist. But this is a very dangerous mission. It could mean her life. I'm not afraid. It didn't take me long to make up my mind. Then the job is yours. Helen's father worked with me during the war in the underground, right here in Paris. He was shot by the Nazis on the day you were American rescued our beautiful city. We'll have to give Miss Van Loon a build-up, a big publicity campaign to establish her as a highly successful young artist, which you are, of course. That, my dear Baroness, will be your job. It will not be difficult. I have many friends. Bien. If you don't mind, Major Morgan, what exactly is my assignment? In time, you'll be briefed. For the present, just keep on practicing. But I... I'll be in touch with you, Helene. Au revoir, gentlemen. Major Morgan, Captain Wood. Major, do you still think this is the right way? Well, one of our best operators was stymied. He's not very musical. Elaine is, and most attractive. Let's have another look at that dossier. Elaine Van Loon, father Dutch, mother English. Made a debut as a pianist in Calcutta. Critics raved. Assisted allies throughout World War II. Received scholarship at the Royal Conservatory in London. No known scandal. You're going to risk it then? Yes, Captain. I'll risk it. Established as one of the most important young pianists in Europe. It was time to act.
First, I sent a telegram. The telegram was to concert manager Paul Simonev at the Hotel Magyar in Budapest. It read, I'm bringing to Vienna Helene Van Loon, greatest piano discovery of the decade. You have undoubtedly heard of her. She will give a private recital at the Hotel de l'Europe on the 17th. Would be honored if you will attend. I signed the telegram as the man I had fabricated for the purpose of this mission, Marvin Miroff, personal manager to Miss Van Loon. After that, Helene and I were on the train to Vienna. No move, Major Morgan. Monsieur Miroff, see will play. Check your king. Gabi. Very good. You're a remarkable girl, Helene. The war taught us many things. Musical career is nothing to sneeze at. Why did you give it up? Overwork, case of nerves, call it what you will. I like this kind of job. Major travels, gets paid for it, and can meet a man like you once in a while. Any idea why we're going to Vienna? To book me for 14 concerts in the book. Is that all? Or 15. All right. What is my assignment? I want to do a good job for you. Okay, here it is. What's the object of chess? To checkmate the king, of course. Exactly. And in this case, the king's name is Paul Simonev. A famous impresario. And... I am... The Queen. You are a checkmate, Mr. Simonap. Oh. That's not hard to figure out. You're a promising artist. Young. Beautiful. But why all this intrigue? Paul Simonap is a dangerous enemy agent. He lives in Budapest. So I am to give this recital in Vienna to get Mr. Simonap out of Budapest. To lure him is a better word, Helene. But your job is bigger than that. Paul Simonet has been transmitting orders to enemy agents throughout the world. We don't know how as yet. He uses a code, naturally. You will lead us to it. But I'm no expert on, on codes. But you are a good chess player, Helene. I'll do my best. Your king is checkmated, Monsieur Miroff. has become merely a line to divide opposing ideologies. Now confusion, intrigue, and spies. That is Vienna today. was attended by Vienna Society, critics, and Paul Simonev, successfully lured away from Budapest. Helene, may I present to you Monsieur Paul Sumanet? A pleasure, Miss Van Loon. 
I want to thank you for coming from Budapest to hear Mademoiselle play. Not at all. Mademoiselle is a lady of obvious talent. Thank you. Thank you, schön. Hello, may I suggest a meeting to discuss a concert tour for Mademoiselle? I do not think that will be necessary, Monsieur Mirov. When I return to Budapest, I will communicate with you. I should appreciate the opportunity of playing to you again while you're in Vienna. My repertoire includes Bach and many modern composers. Could we uh, make an appointment, perhaps? I wish I could. But I have someone waiting for me now. Monsieur Mirov, please drop me a note to the Hotel de l'Europe. So we? Telling me where I can reach you during the next few weeks. Miss Van Loon? A bientôt. Good afternoon, Monsieur Mirov. Au revoir, Monsieur Simonet. Didn't work. I'm sorry. Don't worry. It's just like chess. That was the wrong move. Now it's time to move the queen. Chocolade. Herrn Simonet, bitte. Yes. This is Simone. This is Helene Van Loon. I'm downstairs in the lobby. Mm. I hope you'll forgive my audacity in coming here, but I did so want to play for you again. Can I see you for a minute? Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sweet 506. All right. play the jealous lover. I won't. And don't you love either. Okay. Go ahead. Is there someone left up? Bitte, gnädiges Fräulein. Come in, Miss Van Loon. Monsieur Miroff. What is the meaning of this, Miroff? What right do you have to follow me here? If you have no regard for your reputation... Stop acting so melodramatically. I came here to play him for Monsieur Simonet. But you do not understand. I'm afraid I'm the one who doesn't understand, Monsieur Miroff. This invasion of my rooms. Pardon, Monsieur. Mademoiselle Madeleine is my protégé. Artists are so irresponsible in their private lives. What? Oh, I didn't know you also manage Mademoiselle Van Loon's private life. You are my manager, Miroff. Not my guardian. I have an investment and I'm protecting it. I appreciate what you've done for my career, but that gives you no right to, to act like a jealous husband. As your manager, I cannot permit you to deal with Monsieur Simonet unless I am present. Oh, why must you always act like this? Why don't you leave me alone? work, Helene. You've helped the cause greatly. Another scene like this will cost you a lot more money. You will be paid a full amount. As soon as we shall have finished with Major Morgan. <laughs> Now back to our story. 
A zoo is ageless. Its animals know little of war, despair, or intrigue. Old people come to remember or to forget, and youngsters can still enjoy their innocence. Like many others before me, I waited at the zoo to meet a girl. I bet a hurry, Paul. He's waiting at the lake. Are you sure he doesn't suspect? On the contrary. I made quite sure he does suspect. A real love affair. I've been telling him how well you and I are getting along. After my playing so hard to get. You won't be sorry I phoned you from Paris. I better not. For months we've been waiting for just this chance to throw Allard intelligence off the track. If your Major Morgan passes on the obsolete code, which we'll discover for him, it will be a great triumph for the cause. I hope the cause will be duly appreciative. For a true artist, you are remarkably mercenary. go wrong? On the contrary. I ran into Paul, insisted on walking with me. Did he have any idea you were meeting me here? Not the slightest. He knows. He said he was going to Budapest in the morning and wants me to go with him. He doesn't waste any time, does he? He's going to a farewell banquet tonight. You going? No, he asked me to meet him in his suite afterwards. And you agree? Well, of course. He's leaving the key at the desk so I can get in and practice on the piano. Almost too good to be true. Think it's a trap? No, I don't think so. I've gained his confidence completely. And I think I have an idea where we could find the code. What do you mean? Last night, I picked up a Chopin album that was lying on the piano. When Simon F. saw I had it, he took it out of my hand and asked me to play something else. What's so unusual about a Chopin album? Nothing. It was just the way he snatched it out of my hand before I could open the album. I think you'll be practicing Chopin tonight. His luggage is in there. You're supposed to be practicing, Helene. Go in and play the piano. Chopin album and the code. How convenient. Have you found it yet? Yes, but keep on playing, but I've got to photograph this list. Somewhere among Simonev's belongings was that code. Where, that was the question. Probably in the most obvious place. Then I found an old Bach album. I decided to investigate it. Are you through photographing? They're not finished yet. Keep on playing.
There was something strange about the album. Perhaps Elaine would help me out. Play this, will you? Box, Invention and Fugues? Favorites of mine. I haven't heard them in years. But this isn't the time. I like Bach. This is an 18th century edition. Play the first one, will you? Elaine, play what's written there. What do you mean, Bill? I had to practice this as a kid. An extra melody has been added. This is a two-part invention with three parts. Hardly the way Bach wrote it. Play the added melody by itself. Play it. Keep playing. Something else, but keep on playing. Mr. Morgan, I was unaware that you were interested in photography. Please. Small cameras fascinate me. I regret that I cannot permit you to continue. It's rather unfortunate that you found the Bach album and insisted on Helen's playing it. I was listening from the next suite and heard it. Would you mind telling me why you find Bach so interesting? Perhaps you forget, Simonet, that in America kids practice piano too. I figured Bach wouldn't write three parts for a two-part invention. Oh, forgive me for collaborating with the master. Musical codes can be cracked. After you. What happens now? I think my superiors will be disappointed that you prefer Bach to Chopin. That's why we have to take a stroll along the beautiful blue Danube. Well, this is another one of your liquidations. <coughs> Stay where you are. Are you all right, Major? Yeah, I think so. Headquarters won't forget you for this job. Neither will I. How did you manage to trick a fox like Simonev? Every man has a weak spot. Simonev liked music, women, and service. I gave him service. Allow me. I just thought I... Yeah, I'll bet you did. Congratulations, Major. I thought for a moment our mission was a failure. I, I was so stunned I didn't know what to do. Johnson, did you call the police for Miss Van Loon's arrest? My arrest? What are you talking about? Well, we figured the code might be a musical one, and we needed a beautiful musician to lead us to it. But you were watched from the day you were hired. We were suspicious of you when we checked the dossier. But I did help you find the code. Well, not intentionally, Helene. Mr. Johnson, our operator X-46 overheard you tell a cab driver in Paris to take you to 26 Avenue Oche, the hideout of Simonef's playmates. The ladies rap, Johnson. But I don't understand. If you knew about me, why did you... We let Simonov think we had been taken in by you to get him off his guard. Otherwise, we'd never would have had tonight's delightful musical soiree. Now, shall we go? Come to think of it, I do prefer Bach to Chopin. Thus, Mission Chopin was accomplished, and the dangerous enemy agent eliminated. Secret File, USA. <laughs>